What's up everybody? Thank you so much for coming back to the channel. Today I am back with Rivera again. Thank God I can never get him on camera. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the special product that or products as I should say that allowed us to achieve an additional 100 horsepower on the TTRS. So Fernando, let's get into it. What was the product? Everybody's been wondering. I'm pretty sure everybody knows though. Oh, it's pretty obvious. You have yeah, now it is. Now it is. On the table. Uh, but we installed Kill4 cams. Okay. We installed the Stage 1 cam. It's a 273A part number, along with their spring retainer kit. Okay, pretty good. So this is what allowed us to achieve an additional 100 horses. We're going to go through some dyno results as well to back that up. But uh, how was the install on the product? Install is pretty straightforward. Um, you know, we did it with the engine on the car, so it's pretty straightforward. It's, it's an easy setup. So everything goes smooth. Now, what made you decide to go with cams? Do you think that cams are a necessary add-on to make more power? Well, on the dyno sheet, you're going to see now the car or the engine used to make power up to 8,000 or so. Uh, really makes power up to 7,000, then it's just flat. But now we can rev it up up to 8,500 and it's still good. And this is just with the stage ones? Yes. Okay, so there's how many stages of these cams? Uh, there's two at the moment at the moment that are going to be released now and the second stage would be for what type of application it's going to be for turbochargers that are 72 millimeters or higher or bigger okay and what turbocharger do we have on the car we have a 6670 next gen awesome 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 so why don't you tell me a little bit about the process and the process to tune the car with these cams what numbers were we looking at before what numbers were we looking at now so with the oem cams the car made 840 to the wheels 840 or so yeah 844 so 840s, and now with the cams on the car, it made 950. Okay, so cams, 950, um, and then of course you have your springs and retainers. Now, as far as the springs and retainers go, what are the pounds for the springs that you know? Uh, that one, I believe, is 104. Okay, and they will have different um, springs? No, it's only one set of springs. Okay. They suit for both uh, cams. Okay, so all in all, e install was easy. Power was great because we did see a hundred horsepower difference, which we were gonna we're gonna go ahead and check out on the uh, the dyno sheets now. Um, and are you happy with the results that you got? Yeah, I mean the car went eight nines uh, with the stock cams. We basically stopped the cams to just a fuel for it, and the car went eight seven. So let's give everybody an idea of the build sheet because I know that different applications are gonna have different power levels based upon what supporting mods they have on the car. Right. So what mods do we have on our car from stock? and then adding the Kelford cams. So what we power have did we the O-Star Stage 2 engine. Uh, it's pretty much pistons, rods, and spring retainers. Um, that's what we usually do on those um, Stage 2 packages. And now obviously we use the Kelford spring retainers on, on we, as soon as we put the cams. Uh, but we used to have a uh, different brand on the car. Now we also have a JDY intake manifold with the DI Delete. We have a Cybex to control the ECU. Um, uh, JDY turbo kit with a 60C70 precision next gen. And fuel? Fuel, we did our own uh, search tank kit. Okay, so it's got fuel. We took care of the um, the fuel with search tanks. Uh, size injectors did we change out? Uh, we put 1700s and we also have a Datsun's uh, super stock clutch. Okay. Moment. Now who do we have to tune the car? So it's Sting Jacobs out of uh, four stroke performance. Okay, nice, nice, nice. So now I want to take a moment and go ahead and check out the dyno with the dyno sheets with Fernando, so let's move on over to it. Cool. All right, so what are we looking at? So the red one will be with same setup with the stock cams, blue one is just with the GoFor cams. So here you can see we lost a little bit of spool, about 500 RPM in spooling time. Uh, before we used to spool full boost at 5,000, now we will see it at 6,000. However, you can see where um, with the OEM cam, it won't make more power at seven, and with this Kelfor cams is still making power up to 8,000. We got to the point that we rev it up to 8,500 and the engine was happy. So here you can see the results. Nice, nice. So this is all proven as well on the track. I know you guys went to the track yesterday. Were you seeing consistent time? So yesterday we went to the track just to have fun. Uh, it was hot, uh, it was humid. And basically we just went out there to have fun with the car. Um, I did two hits on the car, went eight eights. Um, I let Martinez drive the car, he went 8.8. Eight. I let uh, Ulisa drive the car, he went 8.8. Eight. So basically right now there's five different drivers on the car, all going eight second passes. Um, people that have never driven the car before. So it's been proven that that car is an eight second car, street car. So there you have it guys. 
proven results for a component that works amazing in the field. Now, Kelford obviously just released these cams. We do have an abundance of them in stock along with their springs and retainer kit, along with other products from Kelford. Products ranging from B58s all the way to 2Js. If you guys have any questions on any of the Kelford products or this product, feel free to reach out to us at ostarmotorsports.com. Thank you so much for following and subscribing. We'll see you guys next time. That's it. Thank you. Then you want that's to know it. No, that's it. The no, it's okay. Just, you want to talk about it? I thought you wanted to wait. What, wait, wait. Well, what are you going to do next now? I'm going to put a 7275. Okay, 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 okay. okay. <laughs>